you know, I think we're going to have news soon about the Real Housewives of New York. So I'm looking forward to that. And thank you. News is coming. Well, of course. You think New York's going anywhere? Welcome back to Housewives Nightcap. We are so excited to welcome the Countess. She is back on the show and she has so many projects. We have to get into it. Welcome. Thank you. It's good to see you, Emily and Lauren. We're so excited to talk with you. And I think first things first, like you got to give us an update on Lou. Like what's going on with you, Lou? (laughs) What's going on with Lou? Well, first of all, um, you know, I've been traveling for a couple months. I've had some time off, so it's been awesome. I was, you know, in Florida, I was in Mexico and, and now I'm back in New York and it's kind of snowing here. (laughs) And um, so, you know, it's quite a shift, but but I'm glad to be back because I'm back to work and it feels good. You know, I'm back in cabaret rehearsals right now and I'm coming back to the stage with an all new show in April. I start off in Connecticut on April 16th and then I'm doing six shows in New York at 54 Below, which you have to come to. Your shows are so fun. Like I want people to know it is the best money you will spend. You will laugh, you will drink, or yeah. you will have some fose. I mean, you so will just fose. enjoy yourself. I'll about that too. Yeah, I mean, it's a good time. I mean, it's a really, it's a fun time. You know, I started cabaret because a really old friend of mine said, hey, Lou, you love to tell jokes. You love to sing for your friends, um, as you guys have seen on The Housewives. And, um, and you, you know, and you love to host. So you're a cabaret star. So that's how I kind of started. And I didn't realize there was kind of a niche in cabaret. Nobody's really doing cabaret. Um, and so it started with, you know, a big heart and, you know, I just love performing. I love, you know, I love the fans, you know, I do a Q and a with the audience. Um, you know, this is an all new show. The last show was a Christmas show. So I'm excited to get, get back out there. I'm going to be out in LA actually in June, uh, the 23rd to the 26th at the El Rey theater. So super excited about that. Cause I haven't done a run in the East coast since, you know, COVID started. So excited to be back there. And I'm even going to Canada this time around on, June second and third, you're hitting Canada. International. Oh. She's international. Yeah. So, so you know, listen. I've been super busy with the show, and I have a new director who is Richard J. Alexander. Um, he's the director of Kristen Chenoweth and Barbara Streisand. Uh, so, um, yeah, right. I'm really excited to be able to work with somebody of that caliber. And um, you know, he came to the show like you, Emily, and he's like this is so good. I, I'm going to be your director. And so I'm, I'm really excited. And, um, and, you know, other than, you know, working on the cabaret and going back out on tour, you know, I think you've seen the ultimate girls trip. Uh, Loved. So and, uh, good. <laughs> we need more of it, Lou. Isn't like it, it was great? so I mean, good. It feels like Housewives did kind of years ago, right? It feels like that to me. It's like, you know, the drama is not crazy. It's just girls connecting, sharing, you know, all of the things that us women share. Yeah. Um, you know, we just had International Women's Day, so love it. And I actually posted something on Instagram, which was our our TikTok thing that we did with Melissa Gorga. It was so good. It was so fun. Anyway, so, Lou, guys- are you dating? Like, what's going on? You obviously your body. We always tell you you're in like the most amazing shape. You're so gorgeous. Your skin oh, is always glowing. Yeah. What's going on? Thank you, girls. You know, listen, I, you know, I, I exercise, I eat well, I'm dating. Yes. Uh, do I have anyone uh, that I want to introduce to my children quite yet? N- not really. So, you know, I'm just having fun. I've been married twice and, you know, but I'm a hopeless romantic. Three times is the charm. And uh, so, you know, for, for me in life, everything is about timing, you know, and, you know, even with my, my shows and the cabaret and, you know, the timing of that and, um, and the timing of the fose and, you know, life is about timing and, you know, I'm sure my Prince Charming is out there waiting for me. <laughs> he and, is, he is, not, you know, I'm not like, you know, like looking cause I, you know, I, I'll know it when I see it. And uh, so far there hasn't been anybody that really turns my head. You know what I mean, girls, there's guys. Sure. Right. There's- I mean, look at Teresa though. Like she met Louie. They're so in love. Like, I know, it's so love. great. So happy for her. I mean, when that, you know, I ran into a girlfriend the other night, I was in the Hamptons and she walked in with a guy. I was like, wow, he's good looking. And so, you know, I guess they met in Aspen or whatever. And, um, and so, you know, just so happy when that happens and, you know, and I'm, I'm sure it's going to happen to me at some point. Your Prince Charming is out there. (laughs) But But also in the 
meantime, you are the Countess Luann. That doesn't mean no man. busy. She's booked and busy. I'm busy doing my thing and, you know, and I'm enjoying myself and I'm having fun with it and, you know, and I'm happy. And so, you know, I think that kind of energy rubs off and, um, and I want the same kind of happy person. You know what I mean? Yes. Their thing. And um, I actually just got a text from a, a guy that I used to date in London ages ago and he's coming to New York. So we're going to see each other when he comes. Yeah. An old flame. So yeah. And I saw an old flame when I was in Miami too. So you know, I'm dating, but, um, but Lou, yeah. you have very good game. Like, yeah. I feel like you always are playing the field okay. and you're just so cool. And like, I want you to like, almost be like a dating coach or something. Yeah, you very, you really are very good with like playing the game. Yeah. Well, you know, I was, I, I I'm thinking about a show idea actually, which is, has to do with dating. I, I can I see it. The second time around. It's like, it's all about love the second time around kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Luann, I would be here for that because also I miss seeing you on my television. Like, uh, well, thank God for Ultimate Girls Trip. Thank God because it was so good. How has your relationship with like the other women have they progressed? Have you still talked with them? Because I mean, you guys were all the you're the ultimate housewives in one house. Yeah. It was it was great. It was it was awesome. You know, I uh, we keep in touch. We have the Ultimate Girls Trip thread going and. Whenever I, anybody's in the city, you know, I'm here, I'm in town. You know, Cynthia Bailey's coming to town. She's doing Andy Cohen show coming up uh, this uh, next week. And um, I'm actually doing Andy Cohen show on March 22nd. Um, talking all Ultimate Girls Trip and, you know, my tour dates for Cabaret. And so, you know, uh, we see each other and we keep in touch. When I was in LA, I saw Kyle. We all got together for dinner um, and, you know, uh, Kenya, I didn't really know well, and I got to know her really well. And everybody was like, "Oh, you got to be watch out for Kenya." And I was like, "She's a pussycat." Yeah. Um, I can't say the same for Ramona with her. <laughs> What's up with Ramona? Are you guys in touch? Like, where I where's she her, at? I just saw her Ramona. Ramona in Florida because she's spending a lot of time in Florida these days. And so I saw her when I was there. You know, we're good and. You know, I think we're going to have news soon about the Real Houses of New York. So I'm looking forward to that. And Thank news God. is coming. Well, of course. You think New York's going anywhere? No, there's no way. It is the foundation of this franchise. Well, of course. New York is coming back and, you know, we'll be back stronger than ever, hopefully. <laughs> so I know you can't say much because, you know, I'm it's still up in the air. But can we expect to see you back? Well, I, I never know until I get to that bridge, you know. No. Uh, you, you hope know. to come back. You hope. So. Yeah, I mean, I think um, I think it would be, you know, fun to do another season. You know, it's going to be season fourteen. Imagine, it's like crazy. Yeah, that's insane. We've been on the air longer than Desperate Housewives, Sex in the City. I mean, yeah. So we have some staying power. So that's why I say, you know, New York's not going anywhere, and I'm excited about the future of Roni. If maybe there's a couple of old OGs that make an appearance, I don't know. Could I don't know. I've been kind of, I've been putting it out there. You know, the fans want to know who would be like your ultimate dream cast with you, obviously front and center, because I mean, hello. Oh my God. Well, listen, you know, I, I agree with you. I'd like to see some of the older OGs come back. I mean, I'd love, you know, Dorinda to come back, you know, Kelly Ben Simone, maybe, maybe a little Tinsley Mortimer, um, you know, added to what we have, I think would be amazing, but you know, who knows what they're up to at Bravo, <laughs> you know? So I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to, um, you know, seeing if I come back and I'm looking forward to see who they bring back. You know, besides that, you know, I am working hard on my Fosé, uh, which is so, you know, I'm so happy with this, um, with this because you know, I made something during the pandemic that didn't exist either. Like my cabaret, you know, um, I looked for non-alcoholic options and I couldn't find anything that was good. So my daughter and I said, okay, well then let's, you know, let's make something. And so we called a company, um, can you forks, um, who, who's, who's made the juice for me. And, um, and we made a brand for myself, um, and for Victoria, which is called Fosé, which is a play on, you know, faux, c'est pas de vrai in French. It's not real. It's, it's fake. So Rosé, Rosé is what we came up with. And, you know, what I love about this is it's not where we take the alcohol out of wine. We built it from the ground up. So it's got 
natural tannins and oak and, you know, Shishandra, uh, Damiana, all these great herbs in it and rosemary. And it really kind of mimics and the tannins kind of give it that, you know, that edge. So it kind of mimics the wine, but it is delicious and it's low calorie, which is very important to me. So, you know how it is, you go out and you'll know, have a peri and then people are like, uh, uh, she doesn't drink. So I want to take kind of that stigma away and do something in a beautiful bottle that's elevated. So I'll pour you a glass. To pour us a glass. I've actually had it before. It's so good. It's delicious. I, and the, what I also think people should know is that if you do drink, if you don't drink alcohol, it's a great option. If you do drink alcohol, it's actually a great mixer. It's you can great, put some I, champagne in it. Yes, I've got some champagne here for you. But anyway, I made it so that you could drink it on its own. I made it also for, it's not only for people that don't drink, it's for an option for people. So, you know, you can have a glass of rosé and then you pull this out of the big vat of rosé bottles and you pour yourself a glass and look, I mean, you're drinking along with everyone else. And that's what I wanted. Something that was elevated and beautiful bottle where you go, I oh, have a rosé. Or you pour yourself a glass and nobody even knows that you're not drinking. Right. So it's really for everyone. Toast. Cheers to you girls. Yes. Oh cheers. We should have had glasses, Lauren. No. Yeah. have rosé them. with you. I know. You should order it. You're going to love okay. it. So, and if you want, you can take, I save this for you too. Woo! Woo! Prosecco or, you know, you could do champagne, whatever you like, and you can mix it. And then right. you can throw in like a little rosemary sprig, I think gives it a nice color, nice. That's up. so pretty. And it's so great for hosting. Put in yeah. a little orange. Slice. Oh, I love that, Lou. Isn't Look that at pretty? That's so, beautiful. Right? So, you know, I, it's like I said, it's, it's really for everyone and, um, you know, and it's hydrating and it's low calorie and it's beautiful and it's delish. So you guys have to, I'm going to send you some to California, to you, Lauren and Emily. To, to New York. York.